All right, we're gonna make a little quiz game to add some interactivity to your Scratch project. First thing we do are make variables for each one of the questions we wanna ask. So you can see I've already done a question two and a question one. Let me make a question three. I'll just name my variable Q3. And then I need to define the answer. So this is gonna be a fill in the blank. And let's do question three is gonna equal the word chairman. And we need to make sure that that's put into our code um, eventually. So let's start. We can use the ask a question. Once you've got your question, um, we're ready to set up an if else control. Top of the control will be what happens if the answer is correct that they type in and the bottom will be what happens if it's wrong. So let's go grab a mathematical symbol, the equal. Equal is gonna help us know that under sensing here, the word answer is equal to what we want it to be equal to. And what we want it to be equal to is in our data. We want it to be equal to question three. By the way, you notice that's checked over there. We really don't want question three showing. We are going to leave the score showing, but not question three. And now don't forget, we need this set to the correct answer as we did before, but that's got to be in your, in your code somewhere. So now what's going to happen if they do get the answer right? Well, we can do a sound. We could say something like correct and we can also increase their score so we can change their score by one so they can get a point if they get it right and if they get it wrong we can simply say um, you know sorry no okay let's test this out to see if our answer will give them a point so when we first start question comes up and the answer should be chairman it's correct and notice how the point increased by one let's try it again only let's get the answer wrong and we'll see what happens um, so didn't get it right and I did not score another point one last thing to remember at the beginning of your games if you are going to use any kind of score you want to set the score to zero at the very beginning of every game. And that's a simple question and answer. You can put this in your script anywhere.